What is good YouTube? What's you here with a video on Avengers Endgame? So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC pop culture based videos that we do on here all week long. And if you are interested, we do have a Hasbro Infinity Gauntlet giveaway at the end of March. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below who is your favorite superhero or supervillain. So this is a topic I didn't want to cover because I don't really believe it's true, but I've been asked by a bunch of people, so let's do it anyway. So there's a YouTube video and there's a scoop apparently that Avengers cast unhappy with Brie Larson and Captain Marvel's future is in doubt. So essentially what it's saying is there's a scoop that a cast member in the Avengers movie is not happy that Brie Larson is getting the push. Then during this video, it tends to zoom in to, I guess, would be, I, I presume it's trying to get at Scarlet Witch. It's presuming into Tom Hiddleston and Sebastian Stan. So I don't really think this is true because I've actually reached out to a source that has inside sources. And I asked him, is this true? And obviously he said no. But what it boils down to is essentially people aren't happy that Captain Marvel is getting a massive push. Now I can understand they're not happy with her being the strongest Avenger. But when you think about it, obviously Tom Hiddleston has got the Loki TV show on the streaming service coming. Uh, Scarlet Witch has got her own show coming as well. Sebastian Stan's going to be in a show as well. Uh, Chris Evans is stepping away. Apparently, rumoredly, he's been offered some directing work for a future Marvel project and literally everyone out of the OG Avengers except for Robert Downey Jr. has been not offered anything else but it's really weird because they are actors they are actors they can get other jobs for other movies I mean a lot of them do work outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Brie Larson's future in doubt. Now, essentially what it's boiling down to, it's potentially saying that the only person at Disney who truly has Brie Larson's back is Mr. Kevin Feige. Now, obviously there's been a lot of backfire from like fake news, as I like to call it, controversy about the white male stuff. Like, I mean, it's been taken out of context. So I don't think the future of Marvel is up in air. Um, it's, it's literally fake news. I mean, you can't say that her future is out before the movie has even made money, before it's even come out to the public. So I don't really think there's any justification saying Bob Iger isn't supporting Brie Larson. Um... Well, it's not, I mean, although Bob Iger is in charge of Disney, Kevin Feige is in charge of Marvel. And has Kevin Feige ever missed before in terms of making money and I guess like franchises and new movies doing bad? No, L literally every Marvel movie has hit every single time. But what is interesting is this scoop, if you like, comes out after a video that I dropped from a Reddit post that was claiming the following. First of all, you don't have to attack me if you don't believe me. I'm not asking you to believe me. What you're reading, just watch the movie and luckily you'll remember where you saw it. I'm a worker on a contract basis for one of the production companies that got its contract with production infinity war stroke endgame determinated it happened because someone that wasn't me was leaking information on 4chan and here and the disney police were able to confirm the source but they had a general idea where it came from so this company and the other two production companies got kicked out of endgame first of all from the first day i joined the project the title was always endgame and i heard from the directors themselves, the title was set years ago. Just like we said, we've debunked the Annihilation thing multiple times, and this definitely backs it up. When they got hired for Captain America 2 very early, Marvel was impressed with the script and the pick, and went ahead to offer them the bros, Marcus, etc., Civil War, and Avengers 3 and 4. We heard whispers from inside that Disney marketing team has been planting information on the internet with key people to build an online buzz including toy leaks fake titles in case was to build a surprise effect when the real title was released basically they had the idea to shoot scenes for avengers 4 with infinity war felt short at time we were shooting it everyone in the production was feeling the tone for both movies didn't match the actors complained but it's disney was put in pressure financially it costs much less for them to shoot a big part of endgame concurrently with infinity war plus they had issues to negotiate an extension 
to the actor's contract. That's why Endgame had four reshoots to redo almost everything from the ground up. Very few members of the press are aware of this number. And when we were supposed to return for four, Disney gave us a boot regarding the movie. Oh boy, I don't want to say, but to be honest, the script went through profound alterations. I'll tell you a huge one, Captain Marvel. The Russo bros and Marcus didn't want to include Captain Marvel at all on Infinity War and on Endgame. They felt the story deserved to end up with the original characters, but Disney and Marvel Studios desperately wanted to introduce Carol Danvers on Avengers Endgame. The idea was to later give her her own origin movie and boost it up that way. Naturally, they had an argument that ended up with both sides making concessions. They excluded Captain Marvel from Infinity War, but had to include the character on Endgame just to shut off this matter the captain marvel rant we are seeing today was expected by disney their social media numbers projected the captain marvel movie to face challenges and they were ordered from everyone involved to prepare for two cuts with one originally captain marvel plan another cut cutting down the character's participation in case captain marvel flopped this created huge conflictions with brie larson's agency and specifically marvel studios they went as far as to shoot some of the very same Captain Marvel action scenes with Captain America and Black Widow, replacing the character in an attempt to keep the inflated budget down. Brie Larson treats everyone well, but she's very contesting and she contested the hell out of the decision until Marvel Studios were forced to shoot the scenes in different days, which has resulted in spending more money. So why do I say this? Well, because this came out and then you've got this other article claiming that people aren't happy with Brie Larson being the future of marvel which doesn't really make any sense because they're actors the actors in the movie aren't really but funding the company they don't really have a say at all unless your name is robert downey jr so i find it very interesting how both these things come out at the same time and another thing is for some reason at the moment there's apparently avenger reshoots going on um which which is very interesting uh i mean i can't verify that but a lot of people seem to think that some of the avenger actors are currently reshooting things in Atlanta. Now, careful for spoilers. If you haven't watched Captain Marvel movie yet, you have been warned. So I think there could be some reshoots going on potentially over the last couple of weeks. So if you watch the end game part of Captain Marvel movie, okay, there's a post credit scene where Captain Marvel turns up and also Captain America's there. Why am I mentioning this? Because Brie Larson looks very different. Chris Evans is skinny in this scene. Bear in mind, he's supposed to have the super serum inside of him. Obviously, this will be post-Endgame. So I feel like they've actually reshot a scene just for the Captain Marvel post credit scene because Chris Evans looks skinny. He doesn't look his like muscular-built normal self. Brie Larson looks very different in this post credit scene to what she actually looked like in her own movie. So I think there could be some truth to the scenes being re-edited once you actually go and watch the movie you'll see what i mean by how skinny chris evans looks in this post credit scene so i think there could be some truth to potential reshoots happening at the moment for avengers endgame i know it comes out in april when we're in march but let's be honest march uh, they, they could still change some things around if they wanted to there's been a bunch of posts going around that apparently Tom Holland is in Atlanta to potentially do something to do with Endgame just because he there's a picture of him saying Tom with a fan today he was heading to Atlanta from London he probably had a fight connection in Atlanta but not sure thank you for the image so there's no like evidence there's no validity to that actually mean Endgame reshoots but Let's be honest, reshoots can happen whenever. Doesn't really matter if the movie comes out next month. Um, it could be there for Far From Home reshoots, but I, I wouldn't put it past Disney, Marvel to be doing reshoots this late in the game. They have just acquired Fox. So it literally, guys, could be for anything, could be for multiple reasonings, why they're there, why he's there, anyone could be there. So... It's, it's very, very interesting, so to speak, guys. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you believe this kind of Avengers 
aren't happy with Brie Larson. Captain Marvel's future is in doubt. Um, I'm going to say I debunked that theory um, because he said it's an official scoop. But uh, there's like if you, if you look through the content, there's there's no there's nothing there to give it validation. Just a sort of a source. The standard I don't want to get the source into trouble kind of thing uh, is is a red herring saying well. Yeah, because maybe uh, there isn't a source. It's just a bit unclear. Um, and also, there's no other people reporting that story. There's websites reporting it, but websites generally just pick up stories from creators, YouTubers, and other things like that. So there's no other scoopers talking about it. None of the big scoopers aren't talking about massive kind of behind-the-scene drama. So it could be fake. It could be real. It's hard to say. Um, I just wanted to include the part from the leak because it's interesting how it comes out after we've already had the initial there's massive drama between Disney and Brie Larson in, in, behind the scenes because they don't want to include her because they feel like it does discredit to the original Avengers. But like I said, it's going into phase four. Kevin Feige has repeatedly said that once we get into phase four, everything will be different after Endgame. Nothing will be the same again. So like I said, guys, once you have seen that post credit scene for Captain Marvel, I did give you a spoiler warning. Let me know, do you think that was shot recently just due to how different Brie Larson looks compared to how she looked in her own movie? And also Chris Evans is a big, big red herring because he's, he looks skinny to me. So it's very interesting. But like always, guys, uh, just reporting the news and rumors as you guys seem to love this kind of stuff. But like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you in another video very soon. Guys. See you later.